This week, we bring you a special Christmas edition of the show. We'll present Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade as it's seen in the Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day. Plus a travel tip, hidden Mickey, and more coming at you right, right now. now. Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. And this is Spencer. Hi, Spencer. I thought I'd bring Spencer today <laughs> because, you know, it's special. This is her first Christmas, so I wanted to bring her in. And she's very fascinated by all the toys so There on are the a shelves. lot of toys behind her. It's exciting. <laughs> Do you want, is that you're going to be a Christmas present? Do you want that? <laughs> well, Banks, <laughs> since you gave me my Hanukkah present last week, I'm here to give you your Christmas presents. Oh. This one's actually for Spencer, and I'll help you Ooh. since you uh, are a little tied up at the moment. Spencer, you got a gift. Trash. Spencer's <laughs> like, I want to see. <gasps> Look at that. Bunny. Bunny. And some that. cute little booties. Oh, look at how cute these are. Of course, they're Vera Bradley, because I love Vera Bradley. Oh, ooh, <laughs> Vera Bradley. Look at you. You're going to be wearing designer booties now. <laughs> love that. Thank and you. You're welcome. And this is for you and Sydney. This I'll is Vera Bradley by me, too. Oh, and she loves there it. There she goes. <laughs> there she loves it. Got you a Shamu ornament. Oh, love that. Mm -hmm. I love. By the way, I love your Shamu Christmas my, hat. My hat, thank That's you. That's awesome. <laughs> so cool. Oh, see world on the back there. And then a fun little Ooh. bowl cup. Oh, this would be perfect for Sydney because she loves to, you know, to make like ramen noodle and, and soup. So she would definitely be able to use this awesome. for that. Sea world. Well, Merry thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you guys and to you guys. <laughs> this week's show is brought to you by Mouse and Universal Fan Travel, our recommended travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mei-travel.com slash attractions. Undercover Tourist is our preferred supplier of discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to undercovertourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. So this week's episode, we won't be having news in the queue or regular segments, but it will still be a very special episode. Mm -hmm. So we all know uh, ABC airs the Disney Parks Christmas Day Parade every year. What this year it's called Disney Parks Frozen Christmas Celebration. Uh, if you're if you haven't seen it yet, you know if you're watching this episode and it's on, go 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 watch it right now. And come back to this because I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool. But a lot of people will actually show up on Christmas Day to the Magic Kingdom because they want to see the parade in person. But they'll be disappointed when they find out that the parade is actually taped beforehand mm -hmm. at the Magic Kingdom, usually the first weekend of December here in Florida. But it doesn't mean they're going to miss a parade because they still have showings of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade during the day on Christmas. And we thought we would bring that to you as this special episode. We're going to talk over the parade, kind of like what they used to do on the Christmas Day Parade with Regis and Joan London back in the day where they comment on the floats and the characters and mm -hmm. such and so it's our special Christmas gift to you is a special viewing of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade at the Magic Kingdom. Well here we are in the hub for the start of the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade where actually day guests get to experience this parade um, in, in place of Disney's Festival of Fantasy Parade from December 20th through 31st. Yeah normally it would run throughout November, December during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party special event at the Magic Kingdom. So this is one of the few times you actually get to see this parade in the daytime, which is a very beautiful parade. Yeah, it definitely is. Lots of characters are out here at the very beginning, and they've changed throughout the years. I mean, you just saw Donald and Daisy. They used to be on the house float later in the parade, as well as the horse-drawn carriage. They, 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 they rotate them every now and then. With our Christmas gear on. I know. <laughs> They're so cute. I love it. Look at Mary and Bert there. They're actually, fun fact is uh, Pooh, they used to have their own float, uh, a, a tree float. I think it was Owl's tree float uh, back when this parade debuted in 2007, but that's been cut since. Mm -hmm. Mickey and Minnie's float, uh, there actually is a running train on it, which a lot of people don't see. Now Duffy is so cute. I just love Duffy mm -hmm. sitting there. He is adorable. Yeah, they, he wasn't always there when, when he debuted at Disney World uh, several years ago. Then they added him here to this float, mm -hmm. but he fits perfectly. Now before Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time, uh, oh, speaking of which, there's the train that runs. Sometimes mm -hmm. people don't, will miss that. 
Um, this debuted in 2007, replacing Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Parade, which ran from 1994 to 2006. Very long-running parade. Now everybody just comes frozen. This is new this year. Exciting. This is that horse-drawn carriage I was telling you about mm -hmm. that Donald and Daisy used to be in, and now it's Anna and Elsa. Mm -hmm. I think they're a great addition to the parade. Oh, it's, I, mean, it's, it's, I think it fits perfectly. It does. And actually, this section of the parade is very reminiscent of the processional they used to have at Disney's Hollywood Studios back this past summer when they did the uh, Frozen Summer Fun event. So some of the same elements, but some new elements as well, especially with Olaf. Uh, the honey buckets. I, I, used to, I used to do that, actually, back in uh, 2007 when I was custodial there. I was uh, the honey bucket in the Enchanted Adventures Parade <laughs> behind a horse named Lucky. That's I was great. lucky he never went. <laughs> <laughs> These guys got to be talented. I cannot roller skate. No. And they're roller blading, actually. Roller blade, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to imagine, like, you, if they ever get their those like their wheels, wheels stuck in the in this in the uh, the, the, the horse-drawn cart there. The, mm. No, I, <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> And they've been part of the parade for a long time. They're not new with Frozen, but they're just placed in the Frozen section right. for this. It's hard to believe there's over 170 costume performers and 15 different floats on Main Street here during really? the parade. Yep. That's a big cast. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. See that? Doing splits in the air there. Oh, there he is. There's Olaf. <laughs> Now this float has had a lot of um, characters on it in the past, like Donald and Daisy, like I said, um, and Scrooge McDuck used to be in the parade on that float as well. But now, for the Frozen section, it is Olaf, with new dialogue for the parade this year. Look at him. Very adorable. This is his parade debut, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also in the Frozen Holiday Wish Castle Lighting show, but this is his first Disney parade mm -hmm. at Walt Disney World. So cute. I hope he starts making meet and greet appearances sometime oh, in the near I know, future. I know that he's doing it in California right mm -hmm. now. Hopefully we'll get to meet him, although we did get to meet him here at special him. events, but hopefully guests will be able to meet him very soon yeah. here. The ice carvers. Yeah. These guys also debuted during the Frozen Processional at Hollywood Studios this past summer. Now the ski lodge float coming up is got has got Kristoff on it, but it used to be just a regular ski lodge with Chip and Dale on it, and they would throw fake snow out at the guests and at each other. It was really cool. And now there's Kristoff. He should be throwing snow. <laughs> <laughs> he should have a meet and greet. He should. So a fun fact about the Once Upon Christmas Time parade, at least from a personal standpoint is when this debuted in 2007, during the cast preview for the parade on November 11th, 2007, that is the first time I ever met my fiance, Sydney. So, I, Spencer wouldn't be around, you know, I wouldn't <laughs> be with Sydney. Everything, my life wouldn't probably be like this if, without this parade. So, uh, this has always got a special place in my heart. That's and there's Chippendale, off of the ski lodge float and now as chefs. with the guests there <laughs> with the Chippendale hats on. That's fun that they get to go up and play with the guests this year. Yeah, a lot of the characters actually will go and interact with guests during the parade. It's always a nice little touch. Add some special moments. I think I love these gingerbread characters just because you look at their backs there and they're completely flat, like they came right off the cookie sheet. <laughs> now, do you know who this character is? Clarabelle. Clarabelle. Very long-running character. In fact, she first appeared in Playing Crazy back in 1929. 
which was the it's just considered Mickey Mouse's first cartoon, even though Steamboat Willie was first released. Playing Crazy was made first, so she's been around for a long time. She's definitely a classic. You smell something? I think I smell gingerbread. Mm. Yeah, these floats will produce smells too. You can keep your nose open. <laughs> and that cookie we just saw has a hidden Mickey on it. I'm not sure Steve Barrett knows that. So the float Ralph is on actually used to have a chorus, horse collar on it. Yes, uh, just like with, uh, with Playboy Kyle, another old character, but now is their parade debut with Rick and Ralph, uh, with their Christmas parade debut, I should say, because they were in the Halloween parade. Yeah, it's nice to see them in that as well. This is the only place you can see them now that the meet and greet was taken out for Big Hero 6. True. Another float that produces a wonderful aroma. <laughs> So how long have you watched the parade special that was on AB that's on ABC? Well, I've watched the parade for a few years, but this year was my first year actually seeing it in person. In person. Yeah. The Walt Disney World Very Merry Christmas Parade, which is what it was called when it first debuted, debuted in 1983. It's been around for 31 years now. And it's the only year it did not perform, did not air on ABC, was the year 2000. They decided to do a Tracking Santa special instead. And a very young Banks was very mad about that because <laughs> he watches this Imagine. every year. <laughs> There's Goofy on top of the uh, candy float. Now this is one of the few floats in the parade that actually makes appearances in other parades mm -hmm. throughout Magic Kingdom. Uh, specifically, uh, Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade, it also appears in. But gets repurposed. I love this right here. The, the sweeping up there and the balls actually going through the hourglass. <laughs> now we start getting into the princess section, starting with Snow White, which is appropriate because Snow White was the first full length animated Walt Disney film. So another fact about the Christmas Day Parade, it's gone through several name changes. I mean, this year is not the first time it's had a name change. Started off, like I said, as the Walt Disney World Very Merry Christmas Parade. Then in 1997 became a magical Walt Disney World Christmas. Um, changed back to Very Merry Christmas Parade for the next two years. And then when the parade returned in 2001, it was called the Walt Disney World Christmas Day Parade through 2009 when it changed to the Disney Parks Christmas Day Parade and now this year it's the Disney Parks Frozen Christmas Celebration to celebrate the hit animated film from Disney that won its first Best Animated Feature Academy Award for Disney. Gazebo Flow, another one that's repurposed. Mm -hmm. There's over 1,300 decorated trees throughout Walt Disney World Resort. Really? Yes. That, wow. <laughs> How many lights? Tell me that. 10 miles of, well, actually at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, there's over 10 miles of twinkling lights. And wow. Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights. And that's only at Hollywood Studios. Throughout all of Walt Disney World, there's actually 8.5 million lights. Strong. I can believe it. Wow. Mm -hmm. So here we are in the Princess, the, the Castle Float. And this Castle Float's been around for a long time. Various parades since 1986. It's one of the longest running floats at Magic Kingdom history. And this one has every single princess on it. Every single Disney princess are on this float with the exception of Anna and Elsa who are early in the parade. I mean you got Belle there, there's Ariel, 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 <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel, Aurora, Tiana, uh, Lion and Jasmine on the other side, Cinderella. We've so a fairy godmother made it. It's a great way to get some great photos of all the princesses. Definitely. So I know I said that, you know, the Christmas Day Parade is pre-taped. You don't, can't see it live on Christmas Day, but it used to air live. 
when it debuted in 1983, all the way through 1996, it would be live on Christmas Day. So you could see it here on Christmas Day. Uh, but then in 97, they went to pre-recorded, and it's been that way ever since. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. I mean, it would be better live, of course. I, would, I mean, you would think with the with technology these these days, it'd be a lot easier to do it live than it would have been back in the eighties. Another interaction with the audience there. Coming up to the Babes in Toyland unit, based on that uh, Disney film starring Annette Funicello. You know, I've always wanted to be a host for a Christmas Day Parade. That would be a dream of mine. <laughs> you, you and I, we can we can go up there. We can we can do our stuff there. A lot of the hosts included, uh, you know, longest running hosts have been Regis Philbin, Joan London, Kelly Ripa. Um, there's also been Mike Douglas, Alan Thick, Ben Varan, um, and then you know, recently Nick Cannon, uh, Ryan Seacrest, Neil Patrick Harris, and then this year was Robin Roberts from Good Morning America. I think Neil Patrick Harris has been my favorite. <sighs> He's just so talented. That opening musical number, one of the best I've yes, ever seen. For sure. Bo Peep there. <laughs> you don't get to see her very often no, not anymore. not at all. Our Toy Story friends, mm -hmm. Woody, Jesse. Bullseye. Bullseye. Green Army Man 2. There he is. <laughs> Give us a salute. How you doing, sir? <laughs> there you go. So, where's your favorite place to watch the parade? When you, when you, whenever you're at Magic Kingdom, any parade, where do you like to watch it at? Um, somewhere along Main Street, because you can see the castle in the background, and every everybody is just there, and it's beautiful. And I'd say that. That iconic view. Yeah. 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 I actually really enjoyed our view for where we were standing when we were at the taping. Yeah, in front of the confectionery, right yeah. there by the, the cinema. Yeah, that was a good, good place. Yeah. Most of the time, uh, so Sydney loves watching it in Frontierland in front of the shooting arcade. That's, mm. that's kind of her spot. Now these guys, I love these guys, the toy soldiers, because they're actually playing the instruments that they have, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. That is cool. And then the stomping. <laughs> so in unison. Mm-hmm which is definitely what they're known for. It definitely is my favorite part of the parade. And it's so iconic, because they've been a part of this parade for such a long time. Ah, right. uh, see, your my other Christmas present to you is coming down the street here. <laughs> no. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> that can only mean one thing. I think Santa's on his way. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Christmas parade without Santa. Definitely not just finished his big round trip around the world and getting everyone their presents. Now, I love these reindeer that are coming up. I just think they're so stinking adorable. Aren't they? Yes. And, so, and they've actually, some of the reindeer have looked different in the past too because they used to have like their tongues sticking out. Mm -hmm. And then we got the, these reindeer a couple years ago. Look at those. <laughs> <laughs> And Santa has a mic on, so he's actually able to talk in, to the guests and communicate with them. Oh, that's great. He always brings the parade to the close, talking to the guests as he goes by on his sleigh there. <laughs> and like you said, the, how long is the parade running through at the Magic Kingdom? Because uh, you can still catch it. Yeah, definitely through December 30th. December 31st, excuse me. And there's the Once Upon Christmas Time title float. Used to be at the beginning, but they've moved it to the end here. And there's a shot of the castle. Hope everyone enjoyed that. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Hi, everyone. How about this week's Hidden Mickey at Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress? It's a good one. In the third scene, Mickey's sorcerer's hat sits at the right side of the room next to the girl in the shaker machine. I'm sure you all remember her. Well, look to her right, and there's Mickey's sorcerer's hat sitting on a table right there.
The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. All this week, the parks are crazy busy. It's the busiest week of the whole year for Orlando's theme parks. So if you are planning a visit, make sure you have Fast Pass for Disney or plan on paying the extra fee to skip the lines at the other parks. Otherwise, don't plan on riding any attractions without a really long wait. But you can still have fun without the attractions. For example, you can watch shows, play games like Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, shop, or just take a stroll through the park people watching. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. It's time for this week's calendar. Mm -hmm. Up first, we have holidays at Universal Orlando and holidays in space at Kennedy Space Center continuing this week. Saturday and Sunday, you can build your way on over to Legoland's Christmas Spectacular. And today through Tuesday, you can go to Wild Wonderland at Lowry Park Zoo. Finally, the final days of SeaWorld's Christmas celebration, as well as Christmas Town at Busch Gardens, goes from today through the 31st. Uh, and also, don't forget, Wednesday is New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. A lot of the parks will be doing their own New Year's Eve celebrations. I think there's going to be a party at CityWalk. Definitely lots to check out if you're in town to celebrate 2015. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. And you don't have to look just a week ahead. Check our calendar to see what events will be happening when you're planning your next visit. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for some shout outs. First, we have Tex and Dolores. It's always great to see you here in Orlando. Next, we have two of our favorite fans, Chloe and Derek. Happy three year anniversary. And last but not least, happy belated birthday to Jovan Eberhardt. Now, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel and Universal Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mei-travel.com slash attractions. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. Of course, the magazine itself, our winter issue, is available for purchase through our website, in our app, or on the Nook. Get it before it sells out. Exactly. <laughs> With Frozen on the cover, it might. <laughs> All right, so... Christmas, Christmas come and gone. coming up, coming and going. It's, it's like this that. is it. And now this time next week, we will be in 2015. That is crazy. Uh, what do you do? You have any? Uh, give us the preview. New Year's resolutions. Got any yet? <laughs> well, I need to go to the gym more. Same here. I, I'm. We're going on a. Sydney and I are going on a Weight Watchers. So we're gonna try and. Try and encourage weight. each other to just eat healthier and exactly yeah, for sure. exactly do you have a park you're going to go to next wednesday for new year's eve or are you just going to stay home and mm, celebrate i think i'm actually planning on going to a, a party with some friends mm -hmm. the parks yeah. are wonderful on new year's eve but intimidate me a little bit <laughs> there's a place on my there's a place i think i'm going to check out on new year's eve at midnight to that might give me a good view of a lot of the fireworks around the horizon from all the parks well, that'd be good. Make, make a good video who knows we'll see what happens Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week for our special Year in Review episode. Mm -hmm. Until then, be sure to visit your local attractions, celebrate the holidays, try something new, and stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun, fun and, and Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Disney Parks Frozen Christmas Celebration on ABC, if you're watching this on Christmas Day, happens every year, and hello, thank you. <laughs> oh, 